Senator Roberts. Thank you. As a servant to the many different people who make up our one Queensland community, I ask the question, can you feel the winds of change? Leading climate alarmists are deserting the ship. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres demonstrates just how out of touch climate bag carpetbaggers really are. The only thing boiling dry is Antonio Guterres' credibility. Nobel Science Prize winner John Clauser last week publicly stated, quote, I can confidently say there is no real climate crisis and that climate change does not cause extreme weather events. After saying that, the IMF cancelled his scheduled talk. Silencing scientists won't save the great global warming scam. An excellent article in The Australian reveals two of America's top climate scientists have correctly rubbished claims July was the hottest month on record, deploringly saying a quote, deploring a quote, stunning amount of exaggeration and hype. Cliff Mass, Professor of Atmospheric Sciences at the University of Washington, said the public was being quite, quote, misinformed on a massive scale with a massive amount of exaggeration. He goes on. In Houston, for example, in the city centre, it is now between six and nine degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the surrounding countryside, he explained in an interview with The Australian. That isn't global warming. That's the urban heat island effect, which, by the way, is easily counted. Plant trees. John Christie, a professor of atmospheric sciences at the University of Alabama, Huntsville, said heat waves in the first half of the 20th century were at least as intense as those recent heat waves. This is the university that runs the official NASA satellite temperature record, the umpire of data sets, which shows an increase in temperature since 1978 of only 0 0.3 degrees centigrade, on trend with temperature trends since the mini ice age 200 years ago. Even the warmer in chief, Jim Skier, at the head of the UN's climate body, says 1.5 degree temperature rise is not an existential threat to humanity. We will not die out. Thank you, Senator Roberts. Senator